Hello Aries, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you uh, today, this evening, when it, whenever you're watching this? Um, thank you for tuning in. This is for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Aries, you might want to check this out. It is a general reading, so if it resonates, claim it. If not, move on. Come back to it uh, in a week or two. Sometimes people even come back to it at the end of the month and go, oh yeah, that actually did happen. Um, but with all my readings, use your own intuition. I don't do uh, personal readings, so if someone is uh, pretending to be me, um, please uh, block them and report them. There is a lot of this scamming of psychics stealing their identities and then approaching people for personal readings. I don't do them. If anyone approaches you, block and report because they're committing fraud. They've stolen my logo. They're pretending to be me. They're committing fraud. Okay, so, oh, that was a nice bit of white light that came there. Okay, Aries, let's take a look. Uh, I'm using the Aboriginal Spirit Oracle, the Arcanum Tarot. And if I need to clarify the Aquarian Tarot, let's keep going. All right. Oh, something wants to come out. Confusion. What is there? What is confusing you? Uh, sometimes uh, our relationships can be a source of confusion. We, I'm reminded that we need to keep pushing through. Uh, and it is also a, a, a matter of grounding yourself too. Sometimes, you know, we can let our thoughts or our emotions or our passions or whatever kind of run away with us. There's a need for grounding here and you will find, how do we ground? You know, we put our two feet on the ground. Yeah, we go for a walk. We go for, you know, we go out in nature. Um, we have a cup of tea even, uh, but we ground ourselves and we allow our thoughts to come back uh come back uh, to a sense of uh, comfort uh, and reality. Um, so if you're feeling confused about something, there is a special message here around grounding. Let's see what other messages are going to come forward for Aries in May. This reading is for May 2022. Uh, what is happening with Aries in May 2022 or for Aries? Okay, so we have here deception. Okay, so you might feel be feeling like you're being deceived. What is this energy? What is this energy, Aries? Confusion and deception. Father Sky. Okay, so this could be uh, in relation to a male that you're dealing with. Um, what else is this? This is really self-respect. Okay, so again, coming back to yourself, grounding yourself, being gentle with yourself, being gentle on yourself, um, really uh, going back into yourself and, and really examining your worth and your value and knowing who you are and, um, you know, will will help you overcome anything really, uh, being strengthening that inner core uh, and creativity this can be done through creativity it's such a powerful thing so I said in my uh, reading for which sign was it It was one of the air signs um, being creative that that can take on many forms from planning a garden through to walking in nature and contemplating nature uh, we are turning our thoughts away from worry and um, towards uh, that feeling of openness and freedom. We are creating something through reflection as well. And ancestral wisdom. Uh, often when we get into that creative zone, we are able to pick up messages coming through from our ancestors. You know, they went through all of these things we're going through. It's uh, They've learnt the life's lessons. They've learnt the life's wounds the life's patterns, the life's life's karma, if you like, uh, and they've uh, lived already through that and they've attained that wisdom also where they are. That ancestral wisdom can be passed down through, uh, through to us in ways that we don't understand. We've got return to country. Um, now, this can be you're going, you've gone home. It could be you're seeking to go somewhere else. Um, there's something around movement here. Uh, you could even be going on literally an expedition <laughs> or a journey of some sort um, in the near future, but you're undecided about it. What you do want is freedom. 
freedom and uh, friendship as well. Um, or to be around friends. To be around friends. There's a decision to be made about movement of some kind for you in May, Aries. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, uh, let's move to a more specific reading for Aries. What's happening for Aries in May? May 2022, what's happening for Aries? Aries, let's tune into that fiery energy. You're a cardinal sign. You, you take the lead, you go to places where others haven't and then people can follow you as well. I think you're contemplating what's next for you. Aries, May. What's going on here for Aries in May? Okay, so we have here the Four of Swords retreat. This is a period of rest going within going within, stepping back, retreat, again, contemplating the future, something coming to fruition in time. Yeah, you are considering, there's a globe there, you know, you're considering a trip or a movement of some sort, but for now, you're in this retreat kind of mode. The Seven of Swords, you know, again, this is this deceptive energy that's coming through here. Is someone lying to you? I'm sorry, this won't be applicable for every Aries, uh, but it looks like there's a kind of, could be you feel you were deceived. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in the past, this is independence, having everything you want, but that's in the past here. In the sky, we have the Hierophant. I like this energy. Um, this can be institutional energy, courts, uh, churches, but it's also connection to the divine. It's also letting us know the divine is operating in our lives as well. So it's kind of like uh, the big picture. Uh, there are we'll we'll open open the lock for you. Having a look at the big picture may help at this time. Um, the Five of Pentacles in the immediate future. This is something around money as well. Uh, but what comes after the Five is the Six, which is a helping hand being given. So this question could be around money um, for you. Or not for every Aries. I don't, as I said, it's a general reading. But I asked what comes after the Five and we've got the Six, a helping hand, loans and debts. You could have also loaned someone some money or you may be lo loaning someone some money, but make a wise choice. You could feel like, you know, you could also feel part of this deception is you could feel like you've helped someone and they they didn't return the, the favour sort of thing. Um, hmm. Queen of Swords in the hopes and fears. You really need to uh, stabilize things through having a plan, through being really logical, for be, through being grounded, through through seeking the truth, um, not allowing things to run away with you, but to come right back always to the truth. What is the truth? The truth is we always have to look at things in another way, whether we like it or not. At the end of the day, that is what is needed to move into our higher self. When we move into our higher self, we achieve the happiness we crave. Uh, here's your energy. You do that. When you do that, you do it with courage. And you step forward very bravely and very strongly. Good on you, Aries. That's what you're doing in May. And it's a miracle wish fulfillment here. You're coming into your own, back into your own, after a period where you feel felt like you were deceived. You're seeing something from another way, another viewpoint. You're pausing, perhaps even pausing this kind of energy and stepping back into yourself. At the base of the pack is family, knight of swords. Uh, this is truth, movement forward. And we have the king of pentacles, which of course is a Virgo energy. Uh, and we have the Five of Swords. Um, this can sometimes point to some kind of abuse or sabotage, feeling like you were sabotaged or are, are, are being sabotaged. But you, li you literally get on top of that feeling in May, Aries. Uh, I hope this reading makes sense. Again, I have to go with what the cards uh, are telling me. And, of course, those oracle cards at the beginning, the Aboriginal Spirit Oracle, the Arcanum Tarot, and the Aquarius Tarot, which I haven't used. 
uh, they set the, the tone of the reading and they were pretty heavy upfront cards. I do feel by May though, Aries, you're moving away from that energy and you're stepping forward back into your uh, your energy of, and I do feel it's creativity and creativity taking you forward. However, that is exploration can even be uh, creativity going on that expedition for example back out into nature um, contemplation uh, centering yourself opening yourself up to the uh, the positive type of possibilities that occur in all of our lives opening yourself up to the miracles you've got the nine of cups miracles wish fulfillment all right Aries thank you for tuning in I'll be back again with another reading soon bye for now